One piece of kit which has become absolutely invaluable to me on my travels um, is the Omnispool Switchbox Line Management System. If you're going salmon fishing or you're going saltwater fishing, you often have the need for numerous different fly lines, whether it's going to be floating lines or neutral density lines or sinking lines, and you need to be able to have a quick and efficient method of firstly storing those lines and also uh, managing them and looking after them. At the end of the day, a fly line is an expensive investment these days. You're looking at spending between 50 and 70 pounds on a top end saltwater fly line or, or a spay line, then um, you need to be able to look after it. How many times have we come to our tackle bag at the end of the season and you've got lines wrapped around spools and you, know, you don't know what this line is and you don't know what that line is? Well, this uh, management system is by far and away one of the easiest ways to do that uh, with really not much expense. In previous years, uh, many of us used to travel with spare spools. Uh, these are great. Um, you can quickly take your spare spool off and from that point you can put it on your reel that you're using. You can switch out your lines relatively quickly. The problem is these spare spools can be very expensive. Some of them are not that far off the price of buying a new reel. A way to negate that was to use a very, very simple plastic spool line box um, from Omnispool, it's called the Switch Box. Um, and this is a 10 pound plastic box which you can store your fly lines on. There are several different colors that you can get. Uh, I personally use blue for salt water and green for fresh water. It's an easy way of remembering it. The box is essentially two parts with a spinning spool inside. It's just a plastic spool. Uh, it is labeled with uh, spots on one side so that you can identify which side it should connect to. So there's spots on this side and spots on this side so you know that it lines up and it connects that way. So there's your box, comes with a crank handle. Crank handle goes in like so. And you can very, very quickly wind your fly line on and off the spool. Now what I really like about these is uh, you can do them by yourself. So what happens is you just flip it off like that. You find the arrows there, which say that the Omni spool if you look at the box, the box is marked. This is the side that the Omni spool sits on. And on the spool here, you can also see that it's got a diagram that shows you how to do that. And all you do is just fit one on top of the other. Now that is invaluable because you can hold that with your feet and it means you can spool it by yourself. You don't need someone else to be holding on to a reel or some such uh, other device. And if you're in a pitching boat, or you're on by yourself on a riverbank and you need to change out your lines, that's really, really helpful. So the way I tend to set up most of my reels these days is, uh, which you may have seen on previous videos, is I use a big backing loop. So there's a loop on the end of the backing of all of my uh, fly reels. Uh, and the loop is big enough to put a whole reel through. At the end of every fly line is a loop-to-loop -loop connection. Uh, whether it's shop bought welded loops for some of the smaller line weights or in the case of the GT lines or something like that then you know I'll use uh, my own braided loops just for strength. Um, there's a hole in the middle of the spool you just pop your fly line in through there put the crank handle on and wind it on. And what's really really clever about these is they all fit together. So it's a modular design system there are little arrows that point on here as to which way round it goes and you literally can just put them all together as a unit which means when it comes to trip time I go into my garage and I've got all of my lines set up on these spools and I can go right well I need I'm going saltwater fishing I need uh, two weight forward 12 lines, I need a weight forward 11, um, I need my GT lines, um, I'll need a couple of nine weights and I'll need that and I just pull them all out, lock them all together and in here in my traveling reel brief I just have them sat in the front. They're all labeled up so I know what's on what and it's a very very useful management system. On top of that it also comes with a line care box the line care box is, is really, really quite a clever piece of kit. Very, very simple again. It's just a plastic box which inside you have got 
four sets of felt matting which come out and can be replaced but at four means that you can turn them crosswise and crosswise so you can get the maximum use out of the, out of the pads. Make sure you clean your lines properly. So with a little line dressing, something like um, armor roll or something like that, then you can very, very quickly clean your lines and make them slick and it prolongs their life. So the line care box, is terribly simple. You find where the space is, where the line comes out and all you do is clip it straight onto there. And as you wind your line on, to the Omni Spool, then it cleans it at the same time. I mean, it couldn't be easier. For someone who is uselessly disorganized as I am when it comes to fly lines, this just about saved my life. So for those who are worried about their line memory, um, there are two different sizes of spacer. So there's either the small size or the large size. And what these do is widen the arbor on the center of your Omni Spool. So all you do is you find the hole in the middle, you line it up, and you snap them on. Dead easy. And there, you've got a larger arbor on the Omni Spool. Now that works really well for things like anything up to about weight forward seven or something like that. If you're using shooting heads, you wanna store shooting heads or something like that, then you can use the larger ones or very small line weights like threes and fours. So to wind a fly line, from your reel onto the on this ball is incredibly simple. All we're going to do is we are going to find the hole, which is here. Find the hole in the middle. You line the two up. You push your fly line into the centre. Ideally, it's quite useful to go through both holes. And then I always just like to just start it off. And then I put the box on. From this point, I can just put the reel on the ground. Okay, so there we come to my loop to loop connection. Snap the handle out. So then I'm just going to open up the loop, pop the line box through it. And then we have it. So if we're going to do this in reverse, all we do, put the line out through there, find where your two spindles match up, so that we have it in this position. And now what I tend to do is I pop this down on the floor at my feet. So what I'm going to do at that point is I'm just going to put my feet on that to hold it steady. There's my bimini twist and my big loop. Pop that over the box. Put my feet on it. Do my loop to loop on the end of my fly line. And all I do is just wind my line straight back onto my reel again. All done. In terms of line management, I haven't found another solution which is as useful or as simple as this. It's cheap, it's effective, um, it prevents me from making a complete mess of my uh, line setups. It means I can very quickly identify which line I need and when. Um, and I can clean it, I can store it so that the next time that I come to go on a different trip, then I can very, very quickly pick which line I need and put them all together put uh, links in the description below so that you can uh, see where the product is and uh, check out its website and I hope you found this episode of Tackle Time useful and uh, if you did then please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us.